The electric bike and scooter craze has taken the nation by storm. Tons of cities are getting on board, but for those of you stragglers who've yet to experience just how quick and easy one of these pay-as-you-go bike or scooter services can be, I'm here in Sacramento where a company called Jump has stolen the show. I know what you're thinking. I have to download an app. It probably costs too much money. And why would I rent a bike when I could just walk or drive? It's true. You probably do have to download another app unless your area has Jump. See, Jump is connected to Uber and Uber lets you rent from the app you probably already have. Here in Sacramento, Jump bikes only cost seven cents a minute. That's $4 an hour. But let's face it, these aren't very fun. You're never gonna ride for that long. Scooters are a little pricier at 15 cents a minute, and the minimum charge on a ride is $1. Some cities charge special fees as well, so make sure wherever you are, you read the fine print. But it's still a bargain for a quick haul across the city. The last holdup, why pay to rent a bike or scooter when you can just walk or drive? The answer, parking fees. Metro areas can cost an arm and a leg to park. With bike and scooter share, you can park for free and get to your destination for a buck. That sure means $12. Plus, they're really fun. One final question. How fast do these suckers go? Jump bikes are just like a regular bike, but with an electric assist. So they'll go just about as fast as you can pedal. The scooters are a different story. They're propelled entirely by an electric motor and they top out at about 15 miles per hour. Different areas have different regulations though, so check with the company in your area before you take those numbers as gospel. Bike and scooter share companies like Bird, Lyft, and Uber are popping up all over the country. So if they're in your area, give them a try.